then as I got a little older, I thought about being an archaeologist because I like digging in the dirt and finding things. Uh, so I guess I could have been a pirate also, but I just went for, I ended up singer, singer and artist of sorts. Yeah. I picked up uh, guitar and harmonica um, and always had a penchant for rhythm. So I've always played some sort of a rhythmic instrument, um, whether it's just, you know, tambourine and shakers and things like that. Tambourine is very underestimated. That's an instrument that's underestimated. But I wouldn't put myself out into the world as that's what I do as a writer. I, I think I write because I feel. Yeah, it's my, it's my passion that, it's, it's such a passion that you don't realize it is, if that makes sense. It's a way of life, yeah. Uh, I work with a woman named Susan Werner, who is phenomenal, and by all means should be known everywhere. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she, she runs the gamut of singer-songwriter, songwriter, playwright, uh, incredible musician, incredible singer, uh, world-class, you know, really. Hmm. Wow. Let's see. Well, one is a noise that I like to make because it's very calm. And that would just be whistling. I find whistling, um, someone once said to me, y you can't be an unhappy person if you're whistling. Most unhappy people don't whistle. That in my back courtyard, I can hear birds. I'll hear the blue jays. I'll hear whoever happens to be dwelling back there. I think somebody has a canary in a cage somewhere. So I'm hearing that one also. They should let it out. Uh, I have a wonderful friend who works in the building, and his name is Carlos. Hi, Carlos, wherever you are. And he and I, from afar, will have whistling duels in the building. Might drive some people nuts. Probably the captain and Tennille. It's giving people a hint of my age. Love will keep us together. It would be a big old LP vinyl, not a CD. Let's see. Love, love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever So sweet talking girl comes along Singing a song Don't mess around You just gotta be found Now just stop Ooh. Something like that. I moved to New York City in the fall of 1991. Um, I had been living in Boston. Uh, I went to school. I went to college up there at Berkeley College of Music. And I moved to New York City because at that point I was done with Boston. Not, no offense to Boston, but sometimes where you, when you finish school, you need to clear the slate. Uh, it wasn't a big like, oh, New York City dream. It was more like, that makes sense, I'm going there. And thankfully, New York said, you make sense to us too, so they kept me. House concerts are fantastic because they're community gatherings and they're kind of as we are right now, one-on-one, -on -one, music to you. That's it. And it's all donation. People pay donations as they come in. Sometimes it's even better because some people are really good cooks and they bring food and they share. And so it's kind of what music is about. It's sharing. Um, and I, I'm excited actually about Club K because as I've learned, there's no barrier. It's us. You know, I could probably play in this space without a microphone, which would be one less barrier. This is a, a portion of a, a, a great Minnesotan blues number. I wrote it. Big feet. 
Thank you very much indeed, Trina. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure. I hope we have answers that you enjoyed.